Hello and welcome. So I've been testing the Asus ROG Strix G18 for about a week now, and I've been doing gameplay, I've been doing performance, I've been doing development. I've been testing it pretty thoroughly to see what the thermal performance is like. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what is the thermal performance, how it differs from the prior generation, the 3000 series, and perhaps even the 2000 series, which I had personal experience with. I did try out a 3070 Ti laptop, but I ended up returning it because I felt that the thermals still were not in a place that would be comfortable for day-to-day -day gaming uh, combined with the actual sound noise. So it's going to be a two-part video. We'll talk about thermals and we'll also talk about uh, sound and uh, the noise that's coming from this laptop when you are gaming. So first, let's address, let's address thermals and you'll see up here on the screen in a moment, I'll put up the video. I did some thermal testing after about three hours of gameplay, testing with Fortnite, with The Witcher 3, finally getting the ray tracing settings to work. I'll do a separate post on that uh, on one of my videos. I'll post uh, or pin a comment that talks about how I finally got that to work. Uh, same goes for my performance or ray tracing performance on Cyberpunk 2077 as well. So please look out for those. But the short summary of the story is that the thermals are very, very good compared to either the 3000 or the 2000 generation. Uh, my experience has been that thermals hardly go anywhere near an uncomfortable range on the keyboard deck. So if you've got your fingers on the QWERTY keyboard and you've got your other hand on the mouse, you can comfortably play uh, any game basically for hours on end. The one caveat there though is that you have to play it on a desk and not on your lap, preferably so that you're not actually hitting uh, the thermal or allowing the thermal heat to soak into your body, that it would be an uncomfortable experience. And I've had that experience with the 2000 series. Uh, I would not want to repeat that. It gets in the 52 degrees or higher uh, Celsius on the center area around your legs. You'll see that a lot of the thermal, uh, the thermal heat is up against the LCD display in the hinge of this device. So all over the keyboard, particularly the, the trackpad and the lower deck, you will not feel any discomfort from the heat. The heat tends to build up slowly in this device. Uh, I think because of the 18 inch size and because of the extra weight, so allowing more thermal mass to go in there that can absorb that heat. So higher, you know, higher amounts of copper, thicker copper heat sinks, and uh, just more thermal area to be covered across the GPU and the CPU. Uh, it's made quite a bit of difference in terms of the thermal performance on these devices. You can see probably from the video there that mostly it's in the high 30s, maybe a few areas where it's the low 40s, but you're not really gonna be touching there uh, during any gameplay session in normal use. So I think that's very, very good performance. Now, on the other hand, let's talk about the sound performance of this. So this device comes with three profiles that are pre-configured in the Armory Crate, which is the ASUS software for this device that controls all of the stuff such as the RGB lighting, uh, the GPU and CPU power limits, as well as the performance modes for, or the pre-configured performance modes for this device and fan speeds while giving you some manual control over some of these preferences. Uh, I'll cover Armory Crate and my experience with that, tuning and getting this, trying to get this device up to the 140 watts on the GPU that's been promised by ASUS, but I have yet to be able to see those numbers in any kind of game review figures or gameplay figures, excuse me. So that said, uh, what I will say about the performance and the noise is that or so what i will say about the sound and the noise on this device is if you play in silent or performance you will have basically no issues whatsoever without headphones even at the speaker volume from this device which are poor to say the least around 50 percent volume you can easily play most games without having an issue or being interrupted by the noise from the fans uh, they are not high pitched it's more of a whoosh sound so I don't know if you can relate to what that means, but it's a soft whooshing airflow sound. It's not noisy, it's not high pitched. It doesn't irritate you after a few moments. It is actually quite comfortable to sit there and play with. If you crank the device up to tur turbo mode, you'll get, in my opinion, just a few percentage points more of performance, but what you lose is that comfort that you had with the noise levels. The noise level jumps up significantly. The fans are ramped up to 100%, and at that point, at certain points, I think the fans do get into a very high pitch when it's really, really maxing out these RPMs on the on those fans. 
Uh, still nothing to uh, complain about. There's no coil wine or anything like that. I thought there was some coil wine in my initial test of this laptop, but actually there really isn't. So uh, maybe I've gotten a good sample here. I'm not too sure. The noise, the noise is pretty good. Uh, I've been able to manage with performance settings between performance and turbo. There's actually a little bit of difference, but the noise goes up significantly. So I've been preferring to do all of my gameplay for the last three hours or so that I've been doing today just in performance mode and I've had no issue whatsoever. So like I said, if you use this device in performance mode and you play plugged into the wall outlet, you should have no, no issues enjoying your gaming experience. Like this video, leave a comment below if you liked it or if you found any of this information helpful and please do share the video across your social media channels. I would appreciate it. That really helps this channel grow. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.